Hey, what's up guys? Jim Murphy here from You Break It, You Fix It. And this time we're talking about high mileage vehicles, should you buy one? And let's get to the video. Welcome back guys. I want to talk about a subject I'm very passionate about and that is high mileage vehicles and specifically my high mileage Duramax. People often run away from high mileage vehicles and I'm not one of those people. The thing you have to remember when you buy any vehicle, no matter the mileage, it matters more of who it came from than what the vehicle is. And you can tell if a seller cared about the vehicle that they're selling to you. You know, they'll have a stack of receipts this thick from all the service records and every part and piece they put into it. And, you know, you can tell if they really cared about the vehicle. And I'm one of those people. I mean, obviously I have a YouTube channel devoted to mainly fixing this truck all the time. And it's not even fixing this truck all the time. It's just longevity longevity minded repairs where I'm repairing stuff before it breaks. So it's not a problem. This, this truck is our primary family vehicle or, or was, you know, by the time this video airs, I'm actually selling the truck tonight. So it'll be gone by the time this video airs, but I have devoted attention to detail to this truck and its entire life of ownership that I've owned it and have cared for it with the mind that, you know, we're going to be in some of the most remote places in the country and, you know, other countries with it where, I know it has to come home. So everything I've done to this is longevity minded, not necessarily, I've tried to fix stuff before it breaks. So that's another important thing to think about with a high mileage vehicle is, you know, yeah, they're, they're more work. There's no question about it, but a, you can, you can get them for a pretty good price and B you, I mean, the average person doesn't keep a vehicle for that long and you're not going to, and the average person doesn't drive as much as I do. You know, the last truck I traded in, I think had 450,000 miles on it. It was a Cummins and, and you know, and, and again, that was another thing where if you just keep up on the maintenance, keep up on your stuff, no matter how many miles you're going to put on it, just go into it with the mind that you're going to fix it before it breaks. And, you know, and, and people always hear how many miles I have on this thing. They're like, oh my gosh, that that's a lot. It's it's really not though. It's, you know, vehicles in today's world are designed to drive for very long. It's the way you care for them that makes the difference. You know, I've seen, I've seen trucks that have 70,000 miles on them or cars that have 70 miles, 70,000 miles on them that are just completely trashed. Whoever owned them didn't take care of, care of them, barely changed the oil, barely did anything with them where they're more of a wreck than my 12 year old truck with 350,000 miles on it. I just want to clear that air on high mileage vehicles from someone who's very experienced with them. I'm not afraid of them at all. Um, I mean, my new truck that I bought has lower miles still for what people typically look for in a new vehicle it has higher miles as you know, 80, 80,000 miles on it. And I'm not afraid of that at all. And I would never be scared to buy an even high, higher mileage vehicle. This truck had a hundred and like 70,000 miles on it when I bought it, I think. And I wasn't scared at all because I knew everything I was going to touch on it was going to be again, longevity minded and there would be no problem. So that's all I got for you guys today. A lot of, a lot of talking at you. I don't like to do these kinds of videos, but it drives me nuts when people run scared from high mileage vehicles that they, they have an amazing value and you're missing out if you're afraid of them. But again, what it comes down to is it's more important who you buy the vehicle from than what the vehicle is. It's more important about the track record of the, of the vehicle. If you have that stack of receipts and you know that it's had, an, it's been cared for and it's, you know, it's been cared for really well and you pull up to the person's house and they keep their house neat and tidy and the vehicle's clean. Like, yeah, you know, you're going to have like this truck, it, the driver's seat's torn. It's 350,000 miles on it. So does the seat. <laughs> so, you know, there's going to be a little, it, it's a high mileage vehicle. There's going to be little things wrong, hit, wrong here and there, but you can really tell that something's been cared for. You know, even when you go to buy a house, you can tell that the previous owner, it painted, kept the house up, you know, updated things. So a, a vehicle is no difference. And so I urge you get out there. Don't be scared of the high mileage life. And I'll see you next time. I'm Jim Murphy. This is You Break, You Fix It.